State Democratic Party and Republican strategist and Trump surrogate Boris Epstein joined me right now. Boris, I, you know, I guess it sure doesn't seem so good for Hillary Clinton. People are worried enough about us engaging with Iran, and now there's this uh, suspected ransom payments being made. Right. Uh, you know, for Trump, uh, this may be mana from heaven. Is he going to stay on this, in your view, at least over the next several days? Well, it plays into several narratives. One narrative is that Hillary Clinton was an absolutely failed Secretary of State, no real achievements. She's actually pointed to the Iran deal as an achievement, a deal with a country that's a state sponsor of terrorism, our, one of our largest enemies abroad, a confirmed enemy, and she points to dealing with them as an achievement. Well, now we know that we are playing into their hand. We're giving them money for our citizens, and the government is continuing to lie about it. So that's narrative one. Narrative two is of her as a liar. She's a confirmed liar. She's been lying throughout her whole career, and now the Obama-Clinton administration is continuing down that path. Now, you, you saw that from both the Secretary of State right now and from the White House. Let's be honest. This was absolutely ransom. There's nothing else to call it. Like Judy said, if it smells like ransom, it walks like ransom. It's ransom. This is terrible for Hillary Clinton because it's showing who she truly is, a failed statesman and a liar. So, Boris, does she need to distance herself from the story right now? Does she need to back off all the, the, the bragging comments about how she helped us uh, strike a deal with Iran? She, she may try to, just as, as she tried to back off of the TPP, which mm -hmm. she was spoken in favor of over 45 times. But that would be continuing to be disingenuous right. and dishonest with the American people. Basel, she was for this deal. What, what would you recommend she do right now? Well, I don't think that she, I mean, I don't think there really is anything to do at this point. You know, contrary to Boris's kind of uh, comments about her lying and, and being con a consistent liar, um, of course, which I completely disagree with. What seems to be the case is, and what everybody's reporting is that this is part of money that's owed. So he paid part of money that's owed. I think if you want to look at the coincidence of the timing and create, and create, well, look, they create, they cut a deal, right? There's, there's an Iran deal on the table, and if this sure money, we disagree. If, this, have if, deal. if this money is owed as part of the deal. Then he paid. He so paid the money. So was part of the deal. The people. He paid the, he would paid the money. Free? But it's a deal Look, we no, shouldn't but have no, entered no, into. No, that. See, no, no, no. See, because we're we're speculating now. We're assuming that this money was paid as part of a ransom. There's no proof of that. So all of ah, this is all of no this proof is, of that. is oh, no. no. All right. And, and, and I'm going to have to leave it there. You know that Donald Trump is going to be jumping on it. on this one for the next few days anyway. Basil, Boris, thank you so much. I'm going to see you guys in a little bit. So don't go anywhere. Meanwhile, Meg.